so hello friends so till now this we have learned to create the questionnaire in the google form and in our second part we have learned to calculate the Cronbach alpha so in this part we are going to learn to calculate relative importance index for this respective factor so let's do it and for doing this at first you have to separate the data for the type of respondent so in my case the type of respondent is only two contractor and the client so i am going to separate the data for the contractor and client in the separate sheet so at first i have separated the data of the type client in the third sheet i have separated for the contractor in this video i am going to teach you to calculate the relative importance index for the client and for this respective factor for the for the challenges and the opportunities and the and the same process can be and the same process can be applied for the contractor for finding the relative importance index for the respective factor for the challenges and the opportunities so let's start so at first so at first for calculating the relative importance index for this respective factor we have to delete the demographic information so let's do it we have to select this and then delete 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 and then delete then we have to select this data in this way all data then you have to copy this then you have to paste in the new sheet then you have to right click then paste special then you have to select the task force at first before finding the relative importance index we have to transpose the data so stop transposing so after transposing this data into this form then our factor will be appeared in the left side that is in the column and, and before transposing it was in the row but after transposing it appeared in the column that is the transposing mean changing row into column or column into row so in this way we have transposed our data for the client for these challenges and the opportunities so now we are going to find the relative importance index for this respective factor and for doing this we have to simply add one we have to simply add one row so for doing this click here then click on insert then you then have to move here then you have to write here I strongly disagree disagree neutral agree and strongly agree so in our first part just we have seen that strongly disagree means one two denotes the disagree three denotes the neutral four denotes the agree and five denotes the strongly disagree sorry strongly agree so now we are going to count the number of number of strongly disagree for the for the factor one then uh, then uh, we are going to count for the number of disagree neutral agree and the strongly agree for this factor one and the same process will be re repeated in all other factor so for counting the number of this simply you can see that this is the data for the respondent one this is respondent two respondent three respondent one have respondent one have given the rank for this challenges and this opportunities so for finding the number of strongly agree uh, disagree neutral agree and strongly agree we have to use the command name count if so so for counting the strongly disagree we have to set the criteria for one then for this uh, disagree 
the criteria will be two because the two denotes the disagree and also in this response form two also means the disagree one means strongly disagree so so for counting the uh, strongly disagree we have to write the command equal to count if count if then bracket then you have to select the range so for selecting the range you have to simply drag here and you have to simply select this upper response up to the last response that is up to here then you have to press comma then you have to select the criteria that is one one denotes the strongly disagree then you have to close the bracket then enter then you can see that the number of strongly disagree for the factor one is five so in the similar way we have to write for the disagree so equal to count if then bracket then select the range that is from here to here then comma then criteria will be two then bracket close enter then similarly count if then bracket and then select the range then comma then three then bracket close then for agree count if bracket then range then range you have to select this then you have to uh, press comma then you have to let me check then you have to write the 4 for agree then bracket close then enter then for strongly agree similar process count if bracket then select the range in this way up to here then comma then 5 then bracket close enter so in this way we have just counted the frequency of strongly disagree disagree neutral agree and the strongly agree for the respective factor so after doing this simply you have to drag the this respective formula in all the column by in this way simply up to the bottom yeah so it's in a similar way this So after calculating the frequency for this uh, liquid scale, we are going to find the total. So write here total. Then use the summation function that is sum. Then bracket. Then select this from strongly disagree to strongly agree. And then close the bracket then enter then drag this up to bottom then after calculating the total we are going to find the voltage we are going to find the voltage for each factor so write w then then from this we have to write equal to then uh, simply write here then 1 into strongly disagree plus 2 into disagree plus 3 into neutral because 3 denotes the neutral 1 denotes the strongly disagree and 2 denotes the, uh, denotes the disagree so 3 into neutral plus 4 into agree plus 5 into strongly agree then then enter key 
so in this way we have find the weight edge so drag this up to the bottom of the collected data so after finding the weight edge so after finding the weight edge we are going to find the rii that is relative impotence index so for so for finding the rii or or i i right here simply have to use the formula that is press equal to then select this value weight is then then divide by then bracket then write 5 into total then bracket close then equal to then you have to drag this up to the bottom then you have to format this up to the two decimal number or three decimal number so in this way so in this way we have find the we have found the relative impotence index for this respective factor and simply and simply you can separate this two factor by adding one row simply here so in this way we have found we have found the relative impotence index for the respective factor for the challenges and the opportunities for the type of client that is for the type of respondent that is the client and the same process can be applied for calculating the rii for the contractor so after finding the rii rii that is in this way we are going to find the rank so for finding the rank we are going to find the rank in our next part of this tutorial series so so please subscribe our channel and if you like this video then please subscribe our channel and share this video to your friend thank you